as of two weeks ago, nobody knew if there was going to be a SmackDown women's title match on WrestleMania. There were no plans issued, nothing like that. As far as I was told a couple weeks ago. At like 5, 5.30 today, I get a message that says, Fatal 4-Way match isn't happening. If you're wondering, what the hell is that Fatal 4-Way match? Sonya Deville, Mandy Rose, Naomi, Carmella for the top contender spot at WrestleMania. Instead, I was told Asuka's going to be in a title match tonight. And I said, oh? And WWE started to scrub their social media because they, instead of actually explaining something, they're like, oh, let's just forget it happens because everything changes. Everything changes. Like, I know a lot of people will poke fun at the likes of a Dave Meltzer who will say, plans change when something that he was told doesn't happen. The man ain't lying. Plans change, and they change very often because earlier this afternoon, there were a lot of people who thought that this fatal four-way match was still going to go on. <clears throat> but uh, when it comes back from commercial, Asuka is in the ring, and I thought the announcers did such an amazing job of selling the surprise of this when Greg Hamilton is in there and he says, for the SmackDown Women's Championship, Boy, did that announce team sell that, Alex? Yeah, they did. Um, uh, well, how, how did how did Charlotte score this? Where did this come from? The problem is, I like all those questions. I need the answer before the end of the night. Like, I mean, we can assume it's because she's Vince's favorite, but I would like to have that. Like, do your reporting. You got somebody backstage whose job it is to ask questions of people. You would think that that person would be would be you know getting something. You know, Todd Phillips, like, maybe somebody backstage could find an answer for us how Charlotte got this title match out of nowhere. If it was, Charlotte said, I'm, I'm tired of Becky saying I don't deserve it. So I went to Vince McMahon and I asked him for a title shot. And guess what? He gave it to me because he knows I do deserve it. That's it. That's all we need. Easy. 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 Again, these are things that are easy and they don't do them. And those are the things that I'm like, come on. I mean, well, the at the end of the night, you could have fed two birds with one scone, as they say. Yep. And had Vince say, well, because I wanted her to. And that's it. Right. Just because Vince is a fickle old man. Right. I mean, that that has been the story throughout this show in particular, SmackDown, uh, for a month and a half, is that Vince is a demented old bastard who <laughs> does things because he wants to. <laughs> yes. Yes, the theme true. of this show for six weeks has been plans change. Well, I thought you were going to say uh, the theme of the show for six weeks has, has been that Vince is a demented old bastard. But I was going to say the theme of WWE for the past 25 <laughs> years at least has been Vince is a demented bastard. Um, yeah, this this is uh, – I mean, uh, first of all, um, I mean – for the people, for the women who thought they were wrestling tonight for a shot at the SmackDown title at Mania, that's got to suck. I'm sure. But, you know, like, that's a weird thing. We'll, we'll talk about uh, this match and then all the implications that the finish of this match has. But certainly one of them is, oh, I guess I'm uh, that thing that... Because also you would think that by today, the winner of that match knew who she was going to be. And that person's a little more pissed than the other three. So this match ruled yeah it did this was a fantastic match a lot of counters to start this match out uh oscar uh locks on an octopus it's a german suplex a, a bunch of great kicks her strikes were on point in this match yes. uh, she missed her flying ass smash and got booted charlotte missed a moonsault and gets put in an oscar lock tries to roll through the pin uh the only qualm with the work in this match when oscar is supposed to shove charlotte into the turnbuckle with her foot, she kicks her, and it doesn't work visually like no. that. Yeah, but I'll tell you what works visually: that Spanish fly that Charlotte did to Oscar. <laughs> Boy, they they are what I would call on the same page. Yeah, yeah. yeah that the, the when I when I saw that she was setting up for the Spanish fly, I was like, <laughs> oh, so Mustafa Ali's been running stuff with people in the back since he's been on SmackDown. I mean, that's just the idea that, that it used to be a thing. That like, oh, a Spanish fly uh, from the top rope was this thing that made Mustafa Ali special. Uh, and no, now now we've got a sh uh, Charlotte, who's legitimately one of the larger women in the entire division, just doing Spanish flies off the top rope. And now it's like, well, 
Uh, because I guess the idea is it's basically just a moonsault. If you can do a moonsault and help, have somebody help you out, uh, you can do that move too. It certainly uh, did not make it any less impressive when I saw it happen. It was incredible. Uh, also, the series of reversals that led to a figure eight and Charlotte Flair subsequently winning the SmackDown Women's Championship. Uh, both of these women brought it. This was a great match. Uh, I mean, no, no dispute that the match was great, but the decision is very polarizing, Alex. I want to know yeah. your, your, your initial thoughts. Keep in mind, we don't know what this is leading to. We don't mm -hmm. know a lot of people saying a lot of different things. Uh, a lot of people saying, oh, well, it's going to lead to a merge of the titles. The brand split is ending. Uh, it's going to be winner take all. We don't know no. any of that right, right now. Right, right, right. Uh, what, the, what, the, what they are saying currently is that um, currently, and that's just for tonight, it may change before the night is out, um, that uh, that SmackDown, the SmackDown title will be brought into the Raw Women's title match by Charlotte, but it's not on the line. They, did they say that? They say they say that during during the broadcast tonight. They say like, oh, Raw, they, they say that the Raw Women's Championship is up for grabs, and now Charlotte is the SmackDown Women's. Star. This raises the stakes, and it and, and what they say they're very key to say. It's it, they're very key when they're saying that it's not on the line, but it raises the stakes, which is that it doesn't make any sense. Just because a woman is like, you could put the the IC champion in a in a triple threat. For the WWE champion, if the IC title's on the line, it doesn't raise the stakes. Oh, it, well, may, it may raise the profile of the match, but it doesn't raise the stakes. Now, I mean, that, that could all change next week. But did right. you know that according to Vince McMahon, WrestleMania six, Warrior versus Hogan, that was not for the Intercontinental title? <laughs> per Vince McMahon. Yeah. Bruce Pritchard has brought this up on his podcast several times. It was only for the WWF championship, according to Vince. Even right. though, to me, and literally everybody that watched it, it was for both. Otherwise, why the hell is Warrior carrying it in? Thank you. Um, and there, this, this, this is where I'm at with this. Um, why are you putting the title on Charlotte to have her bring it into a match in which the title is not on the line? And a lot of people are saying, oh, this is so... At the end of the night, they can have Sasha and Bailey with women's tag titles, and Becky will win the triple threat, so she'll have the Raw title, and then Charlotte will have her title, and they'll stay on the ring and the whole thing. Yeah, we talked about this months ago, that that was the final image of WrestleMania. But if the way that Charlotte brings her title into the ring to hold it up is, is by having just lost a yes. match <laughs> that she was in, where that title she's holding wasn't even on the line, how stupid is that? But here's the other thing. We just saw tonight on a SmackDown how great a potential WrestleMania match between Charlotte and Asuka for the SmackDown women's title could have been. And this is the idea that, that I said from the very beginning. You just have Becky versus Ronda for the Raw Women's Tab Championship. And on the same card, you have an also amazing match between two amazing women for the SmackDown Championship. You don't need to take Charlotte out of the SmackDown area and put her in Raw and have it have two SmackDown women facing Ronda Rousey for the Raw title while until 5.30 tonight, you have Asuka versus somebody. Somebody else who doesn't really matter. Or maybe you don't even have Asuka on the show at all defending the Women's Championship. And now we, we don't know what's going on. I put up a poll on my Twitter saying, what do you think is the most likely scenario? coming out of this? Is it going to be a winner take all? Is it going to be a title unification? Whoever wins wins that match, they merge the belts into one and the winner of that would then float among the brands, kind of like the women's tag team titles. Do you think, and again, this is a total outside shot, that somehow they say, okay, Asuka, you can be in this now. And now it's the four best women in, in you know that we have. Fatal four-way match. Right now on the poll, that's really losing. Or what everyone thinks is going to happen and what I sadly think is going to happen, it's just going to be the three of them. One of them happens to be wearing a blue belt fighting for a red belt. And I mean, like, that's a, that's seems really lazy and stupid to do it that way. But we'll, we'll, another, again, another, again as, as you say, let it play out. Another possibility is the person who gets pinned. 
that's what title is up for grabs. I don't know. Sure. So that's convoluted. That's okay, convol the fact that I, I have to even shake my head and say, oh, this, 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 that's, that's a pain in the ass. Also, we have to address an elephant in the room. Right now, there is no Raw or SmackDown tag team championship match on WrestleMania. There has been no Women's Battle Royal announced. There are already 13 matches on this show. Yeah. Um, it, it, here, here's the here's, here's one you could do. Um, have the Usos versus the Revival. Give, give them nine minutes to, oh, to, to kill each other. It'll be amazing. And then you could, you know, you could do whatever. You could do the thing. Here's the, what's the best part about it? You're doing the soup shake like a week later. Everything can come out in the wash. You could have an amazing WrestleMania where titles are on the line. Brand doesn't matter because all these people are going to be on different brands anyway. But I think you could easily do that where you could say the best on Raw versus the best on SmackDown. But wait, that only happens in November, I'm told. WWE has been incredibly lazy, lazy. over the last three months. From botched call-ups to just bastardizing their, their brand split to an extreme level. I'm talking like 15, 16 people jumping brands. Yeah. Shelton Benjamin is a SmackDown wrestler, as we learned tonight. Uh -huh. He's still, still there. Rey Mysterio is going to be on Raw next week. Kurt Angle was on SmackDown tonight. Come on. <sighs> it, My yes, God. It, and it, and it, now it, people it, will say to me, it's WrestleMania season. It makes it. No, it doesn't make sense. No, no, it, it makes doesn't. Sense here and there, not for everybody. So, yeah. The, the the thing that you have with this is that uh, going going back to the Oscar thing is that everyone they poor Oscar I don't know about poor Oscar but they certainly have have made her way way more of an also ran kind of a other a, an other thing way to the side of this they had her in a great match tap out Becky Lynch at the Royal Rumble and then took her off TV for like a month and a half like uh, I mean. I don't know if it's poor Asuka. She's had, she's had an amazing career, but since the call-up, since she's been on the main roster, they haven't really utilized her to her full potential. And tonight is another way of showing that. If, she, if the only thing she does at Mania is be in the Women's Battle Royal, which might not even exist, jeez, that's, that's not cool. Compared to what? Her facing Mandy Rose for four minutes on WrestleMania? Well, yeah, that's like the that, that's what that's what she's missing out on is that's that's the problem is, is that the problem is that is that that is the alternative that shouldn't be the alternative exactly there should, there should be a different thing that they do you could have you could have her defend against all I thought what they were going to do is have that fatal four way that they, that they talked about end in some kind of smosh smosh thing and it would be you know what Oscar comes out and says let's see if all of you are ready for Oscar I'll face all of you in a fatal five way. And I thought that was going to be it, but nope. Nope. I mean, I got people saying, oh, she needs to go to AEW. And I'm like, what in the <laughs> hell are you talking about? Uh, WWE signed her as a 34-year-old woman who beat her body to death in Japan. Not a lot of people expected WWE to, to even want her, which is yeah. fantastic that that mindset changed because she deserved it. She oh, yeah. had a two-year undefeated streak yeah. in NXT was never pegged for the main roster, did not lose the NXT title, won the Royal Rumble, competed at a WrestleMania for a title, is the only person to beat Becky Lynch since SummerSlam. And does that mean that she's not been wasted? Has she been used to her full potential? Hell no, she hasn't. And there's a lot of people that haven't been, and that sucks. Yeah, that It is WWE's fault that they didn't have an appealing SmackDown women's title match. It is nobody's fault but theirs. Whoever yeah. Whoever's made these final decisions and, and put all this stuff forth and been lazy, dozens of people to, to come up with shit and laziness. Just it's everywhere I look, lazy shit in that regard. Do mm -hmm. I think that Asuka's been wasted? No, she hasn't been. But uh, she has not been used to her full potential, and that's for damn sure. If she's in the battle royal and she wins it, okay, I'm cool with that. I'm I'm not screaming poor Oscar. I'm not thinking, man, poor Oscar making six figures and and doing all this stuff, winning the title against Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair, and then tapping out Becky Lynch the same night Becky Lynch becomes Royal Rumble winner. I, I'm not thinking poor Oscar, uh, but. 
I, it's it, it always seems Alex like we are like we are waiting for WWE to get past their own waiting. It's like yes. they're like, well, once once we get past WrestleMania, maybe they'll adhere to this brand split. No. Nope. Once they okay, once they figure out where they're going to put these call ups, then they'll find a program for them. Nope. No. Uh, we, I think the whole thing is that that you 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 more than I are a fan of doing the let's wait and see, let's yeah. wait and see what's going on. I I usually I usually am, am of the opinion that I've waited and saw in the past. And in the past, that waiting has has led to nothing. And now I don't I don't trust them to have a plan. I don't trust them to be like you know. Also, we've seen that some of the most compelling storytelling they've done has come when they when the plan had to be thrown out because of one thing or another, and they had to immediately like I don't know if it was panic or like they had to like. They had to they had to not immediately shut down anything that Vince wouldn't love because it's the same thing he did 15 years ago or whatever. But this new stuff like Kofi Kingston, like this is an inspired storyline that was never supposed to happen. Their plans are usually like meh, and their stuff that's like, well, we gotta do something, and it usually winds up being gold. Or we'll something watch you. At least. We watched them spin their wheels with Rollins and Lesnar for two months, and oh, yeah. hey, the revival winning the tag titles. That was another one. Okay, we may, and we we've seen some in increased attention on the tag team division, but it's been a lot of car crash, six minute matches. And yeah. when it gets to the point to where we are a month and a half into Ricochet and Alistair Black, and I'm saying you've seen this match before, right? That's pretty telling. I, I just want the laziness to stop. Yeah. You get billions of dollars. You're getting billions of dollars. Yeah. If well, that's that's the thing is that the the billions of dollars the, the, to me to me and we've we talked about this before. It's a it's a license to take risks. You've got that house money. They can't take it away from you. You can do things that you might have not had thought you could if if that money was on the line. But what they say is like, oh, I got all this money now. I'm just gonna sit back, do as little as possible, and hoard all of this money. And I I don't like that approach. I'd rather you didn't do things that were safe uh, if you have the license to take risks. 